Quran claims that if you find an error, it's all in error. And that's Allah's claim, and there are contradictions in the Quran. But the Bible itself, to me that there's contradictions um, you cannot carry the burden of another, and yet some will carry the burden of another. That's in the Quran. Sammy, will, it's in the Quran. We know there's different Qurans, but I'm there talking about whichever Quran you want to believe in, yeah. whether you believe in the Has, the Wash, or the Dori, or all three of them. Do they have a difference of narrative between Adam, Iblis and Allah? Your point about the contradiction between the books, I would, I would agree with you. Yes, there is a contradiction between the Bible and the Quran. And the main contradiction is that Jesus Christ was crucified and the Quran is the only book in history, really, that denies the crucifixion. Who raised Jesus back to life? It was God who raised him back to life. Zeus. Imagine this, God Almighty raising Another God of theirs, Jesus Christ, back to life. Can you imagine this? The resurrection, Jesus might have said that I lay down my life and I lifted it up again. That means he never died if he's going to lift his life again. I'm not going to go your level and insult you, inshallah, because I'm a Muslim. Yes, he's right. Muslims are superior. Why? Because Muslims, I tell you why. I tell you why. What I say. He said, I'm not going to insult you, but then he just said, I'm inferior. <laughs> Within 20 seconds, he contradicts himself. Destroy this temple and I will raise it up on the last day. It then, it then goes on to say, what do you mean he didn't die? It then, it, then, it, then, it, then, it then goes on to say that he was talking about the temple of his body. So you said God raises up Jesus. Jesus says I raise up my own body. By your own logic, Jesus is God. Again, you are quite the Christian apologist. Yes, I am. Notice he interrupted. Did I interrupt Abbas? No. Did you just see him interrupt me? Yes. Do you know why, ladies and gentlemen? Because his dean has failed him. Okay, if we're going to interrupt each other, you boys can go have fun. Let me just finish my point right here. My point. Hold on, don't assume my gender. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You assumed our genders. Wow. Not very progressive. The penalty for those who wage war against Allah and the Messenger and strive upon earth corruption. I, I do find it funny that Ollie's initial excuse for not standing up against Christophobia, and I'd be interested to know if she believes it even exists, right across the Islamic world, is because she says, I'm a citizen of this country, and yet she's wearing a badge saying, Free Palestine. So she clearly is involved in political activism connected to other countries. If you do not talk about the problems, we will never able to address the issue to solve it. Get out of your Walt Disney version of history. Go and pick up a book, read the hagiographies, look at the Christian martyrs and how many Christians were killed because they wouldn't embrace Islam. This is what Allah also says. Yeah. He says, and it is prescribed for you to fight. And even if you don't want to fight, yeah. you will fight yeah. because Allah knows best. So how are you fighting only people who are attacking you when Allah says you will fight? So, what if you're living in the middle of a load of Muslims? Have you studied Arabic? Arabic? Have you studied Arabic? It's not, it's not have, you studied have you studied common sense? No, seriously, have you studied critical reasoning? Can you clarify something? Can you clarify something, Can you clarify something to this idiot? Yeah, this illiterate individual that's in speaker's corner trying to get fame. This man just claimed that you called me stupid. No, because you're interrupting me so, so many. <laughs> so that was a yes, by the way. So let me that was a yes, by the way. Let me, let me think Everyone's laughing at you guys. None can change his words. So the Quran is identified as the word of Allah, the Torah is identified as the word of Allah, the Injil is identified as the word of Allah, and it says that none can change his word. You don't believe your Quran. It's clearly saying that the scriptures that the children of Israel had, they used to change it yeah, with their own hands and ascribe it to Allah. He's, he's wrong again. Listen to what the text says carefully. And there are among them unlettered people who know not the book. Now, if they don't know the book, that means the book is there to know. Perfect. But they trust upon false desires and book guess, then woe to those who write the book. So in other words, if you write a book after your own heart, woe to you. What the Quran is not saying is that the Torah and the Injil are lost. How the companion understood that verse? They know better than you and me. So I'm going to go to the Hadith. If you want a quote, I can, I can give you a quote. Sahih Bukhari, Allah has revealed to you that the people of the scriptures have changed with their own hands that was revealed to them and they have said as regards to their uh, changed scriptures this is from Allah Abbas quoted a hadith that was given hundreds of years later I'm not interested 
in his spurious hadiths that every time Christians quote hadiths to the Muslims that are sahih but embarrassing to Muslims, the Muslims chuck them under the bus when we point out that the hadiths demonstrate that the Quran has been changed, they chuck them under the bus. So I don't care, I don't care about their hadiths. Notice, where is Shanzi? Look at him, look at him. Come follow me now, come follow me now. Come follow me now. The Sahaba said to Muhammad, we're going to attack a village and babies and women and children will be killed. What do you think, Prophet? What did Muhammad say? They are from them. I don't care. They are polytheists. So let me ask him again. Here we go. Bukhari. Bukhari. Even better. Bukhari. Wait, is he running? Bukhari. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you see me, you see the father. I don't mean he looks like the father. No. Oh, he has the same attribute of the father. The nature, yes. That is incorrect because Jesus said he does not know the hour, only the father knows. Yes, because even the father, when he speaks to the martyrs whose blood cries out to him from beneath the altar, they say, when is our blood to be avenged? He says, when the convergence of these events has passed, then your blood will be avenged. Right, so, so the father is not saying 20 past seven on a Wednesday. He is saying That's when this happens, wait, he's saying when this happens and that happens and that happens, then it's going to happen. <laughs> he says that I do not know the hour. This is a figurative speech according to uh, St. John Chrysostom because if Jesus said this is going to be the last day, the disciples would not be focused. Jesus also said all the things that were going to happen before that day comes and he also said that day will come like a thief in the night. So he didn't want to tell them the exact day Although we do have Christian heretics who say he's coming on this date. They tried to set a date. Christ, Christ said not to do that. Now, does Christ know all things? In the same gospel, you continue reading. At the end of John chapter 21, it says, Peter says to Jesus, we know that you do know all things. So when you marry these up, it makes perfect sense. It's figurative, not literal. Christ, according to John chapter 21, knows all things. Even if it proves to me individually that the Father is God and the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God, you still haven't proved that these three are one being. We heard a concession from Hashim. Did you all pay attention? Even if it proves to me individually that the Father is God and the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God, you still haven't proved that these three are one being. So he's admitting, he's admitting that the Bible does show that the Father is God and that the Bible does show that the Son is God and that the Bible does show that the Holy Spirit is God. Thank you, Hashim. This is what happens when you really study the Bible. Just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son. So that all may, and this is the key part, so that all may honour the Son just as they honour the Father. So we can honour our mothers and fathers, we can honour one another, and we can honour God. So in the same way? No, not in the same way. Why not? Why not? Not in the same way. But now you've helped me prove my point. He said, but not in the same way. And I agree. So listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said, so that all will honour the Son, even as they honour the Father. Honouring somebody. I honour my mum before worship. I kiss my mum as well. He's just compared his mother to a rock in Mecca. Is that honouring your mother? You just compared a rock in Mecca to your mother. Can you honour Muhammad the same way you honour God? Listen, hear me out. Prophet Isa, Prophet Muhammad. And not what it says. Not what it says. Hassan just said to me, only some of it's true, which is John 5.30. But notice what he said earlier. Yeah, I agree with what came before verse 13. So in one, so in one brief, he agrees with the rest of John 5. No, because but then when I read it to it him, no, let me speak. Then when I read to him John uh, chapter 5 in its context, suddenly he no longer agrees with it. Because it says something you didn't know and you didn't agree with. Zakir Knight, Lord you. No, I no, no, it's not Zakir Knight. Listen to what Bart Ehrman said about the Quran. No scholar of ancient antiquity would ever consider the Quran as evidence about the life of Jesus. Do you agree? Is he expert on Do Quran? you agree? He, oh, he, oh, he doesn't agree. No, no. He goes on to say, but the fact that these two folios are, listen to the next bit, not identical does not identical sound like identical no! so are
Are your Qurans the same? No! You have been lied to! But he's talking about the earliest fragment of your Quran ever found! Ever found! Game over! Jesus Christ is called the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. So if, according to Hashim, the one who is immortal is Lord of Lord and King of Kings, Jesus Christ is Lord of Lord and King of Kings, by Hashim's own logic, Jesus Christ is therefore immortal when you take into the Trinitarian perspective by virtue of the divine nature. Yeah, and we know that the Apostle Paul's writings are scripture because Peter, a direct disciple of Jesus Christ, who followed and walked with Jesus Christ, he said in his epistles, said in his epistles, okay, that the Apostle the Paul is a brother and that his writing is scripture. So the Apostle Peter affirmed the Apostle Paul and the Apostle Peter was a direct disciple of Jesus Christ. I think it's, I think it's from Jesus Christ. you've got nothing. Bro, just accept. No, you yeah. don't know what you're doing. You've lost the debate. And you've lost the debate because all you do is listen to Golden Sour Boy over there rather than actually study the Bible with Christians. Quran says We're this, at this nature. day I have perfected right, your religion says, for you, Inna fi, inna fi completed my favour upon wa you, I have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Tell me, tell me Ali, what's Allah lying? Yeah, that's a good call, bro. What's Allah lying? Champion of the Muslims. I'm a man, 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 Together. Yeah, he's knowledgeable, he's knowledgeable. Mansour, he's knowledgeable. Mansour, he's knowledgeable. No, 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 we can... What? One question, Mansour. Mansour, he's knowledgeable. You're the best debater of the Dawah team, Mansour. Not interested with this. Was Allah telling a lie when he said I have... But you're the best debater, though. Come on, Mansour. Why is Ali running? No, 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 Ali. No, 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 Dawa team, Muslims, there's your champion running from a debate.